Hello viewers, welcome to the Loss of Brian Fagan's YouTube channel. I'm Brian Fagan from the Loss of Brian Fagan and today we will be discussing the notice of application for judicial writ of withholding. This legal document is crucial in the enforcement of child support obligations in Texas. Understanding its purpose and its implications can help you navigate the complexities of child support enforcement. Let's dive in to the details. What is the Notice of Application for Judicial Writ of Withholding? This notice is a legal document used to inform the employer or other income provider that a judicial writ has been issued, requiring them to withhold specified amount of an individual's income for child support payments. The writ typically is issued by the court when a parent has failed to meet their child support obligations. The primary purpose of this notice is to ensure that the child support payments is made directly from the non-custodial parent's income to the custodial parent, the state of child support agency. It provides reliable, consistent method of collecting child support helping to ensure that the child's financial needs are met. The process begins when the custodial parent of the state's child support agency files an application for judicial writ of withholding with the court. The court reviews the application and it finds that the non-custodial parent is behind on child support payments. It will issue a writ. The notice is then sent to the employer or the income provider instructing them to withhold the specified amount from the non-custodial parent's paycheck. Upon receiving the notice of application for judicial writ of withholding, the employer is legally obligated to begin withholding the specified amount from the employee's income. The employer must continue to withhold and remit the payments as directed until they receive notice to stop withholding, which may occur if the child support obligation is satisfied or if the court issues a new order. Employers who fail to comply with the notice may face legal consequences, including fines and other penalties. It is essential for employers to adhere to the instructions provided in the notice to avoid legal repercussions. For the non-custodial parent, the issuance of a judicial writ of withholding can have significant financial implications. It ensures that the portion of the income is automatically deducted towards the child support payments, reducing the risk of falling further behind. However, it also means that their disposal income will be reduced until the child support obligations are met. If the non-custodial parent believes that the withholding is incorrect or unfair, they have the right to contest the writ. They can request a hearing to present evidence and arguments as to why the withholding should be modified or terminated. It is advisable to seek legal counsel to navigate the process effectively. Changes in circumstances such as significant change in income or the child's needs may warrant a modification of the child support order. Either parent can request a review and modification of the order by filing a petition with the court. It is important to provide sufficient evidence to support the requested change. The notice of application for writ, judicial writ of withholding, is a critical tool in enforcing child support payments in Texas. It ensures that the child support is consistently and reliably collected from the non-custodial parent's income, helping to meet the child's financial needs. Understanding the process, responsibilities, and rights associated with this notice is essential for both parents and employers involved in the child support case. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to drop a comment below, schedule a free 30-minute consultation with us. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching our video. We hope you found it helpful and enjoyable. If you liked what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. Got any questions or thoughts? Drop a comment below. And if you know someone who could benefit from this video, don't hesitate to share it with them. For more awesome resources, check out the description below. Take care, we'll see you in the next video.